dear students, welcome to our English class. Hope you are ready. Let's start. Today we will talk about the magic garden of the poor. And the plan of our lesson is predict the content of the text, listen and read for specific information, and consolidate new vocabulary. Now let's learn new words and phrases. First of all, let's pronounce them together. Дорогие ребята, для начала давайте познакомимся с новыми словами. Follow me, please. Shepherd – пастух. Disaster struck – разразилась катастрофа. Hesitate – колебаться. Wise – мудрый. Seeds – семена. Pass by – проходить мимо. Spring – up – возникать, far and wide, далеко и широко, slam, shut, хлопнуть, pass the message, передать сообщение, was supposed to, предполагалось. So, now dear students, you should listen and watch to find out about the magic garden of the poor. Be attentive, please. Later we will do some tasks. The Magic Garden of the Poor Long ago, there were two friends. One was a farmer, and the other was a shepherd. One day, disaster struck, and a terrible disease killed all the shepherd's sheep. His friend, the farmer, didn't hesitate to help. He gave half his land to the shepherd so that he could become a farmer too. While the shepherd was digging in his new fields, he found a chest full of gold. He took it to the farmer. You are rich, my friend, he said. I found this gold on your land. Ah, replied the farmer, but it is your land now, so you are the rich one. The two men could not agree, so they took their problem to a wise man. The wise man asked his students what to do. The first said that the shepherd found the gold in the ground, so he should put it back in the ground. The second said that the men brought the gold to the wise man, so it should belong to the wise man. The third said that the ground was part of the nation, which belonged to the Khan, so they should give the gold to the Khan. The wise man didn't like any of these answers, so he turned to the last student. I think because neither the farmer nor the shepherd wants the gold, we should use it to make a garden for poor people, where they can come to rest and find food. An excellent idea, cried the wise man, and the farmer and the shepherd agreed. As it was your idea, he added, addressing the student, you can go to the city and buy the seeds, and I will give you the land. So the student left for the city. He was on his way to buy the seeds when he saw a caravan of camels passing by. It carried hundreds of birds, all tied upside down by their feet. The student felt so sorry for the birds that he offered to buy them at once, and he gave the camel driver all the gold. Then he set the birds free, and they flew into the sky. He turned and left for home, but when he saw the land where he was supposed to plant the seeds, he fell to the ground. What have I done? he cried. I have failed in my task. I was supposed to bring seeds to make a beautiful garden, but I spent all the gold on setting the birds free. The birds flying by heard the students' cries, 
and they passed the message to others. Then, from every corner of the land, birds came carrying seeds of every kind. They planted them on the wise man's land, and a beautiful garden sprang up. Poor people came from far and wide to eat the amazing fruit that grew there. And at night, the ones who had no homes to go to slept peacefully under the trees. Rich people too heard about this amazing place, and they travelled for days to see it. When they arrived, however, the gates slammed shut, and the walls grew higher. The garden possessed a strange magic, and no one could enter except those who needed help. Are you ready? Let's do the first task. Choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. Take your time, please. If you are ready, let's check. The first. The shepherd didn't want the gold because the right answer is A. He thought it didn't belong to him. The second question. The student bought the birds because the right answer is C. It upset him to see how the camel driver treats them. The third question. Which best describes the meaning of this folk tale? The right answer is B. If you are trying to do good, others will help you. Well done. Our next task is post-listening task. Dear students, tell me please, if you were the farmer, would you take the gold the shepherd found? Why and why not? Now, let's look at suggested answer key. Here you can see two variants. The first one, if I were the farmer, I would take the gold. Farmers usually don't have much money and they don't know when their crops will fail. The next variant is, well, if I were the farmer, I would share the money with the poor. It is always good to help others when you can. Dear students, you can give your own answers if you like. Our next task is complete the sentences. You should use words struck, passed, set, failed, and slammed. You have some time. So, let's check. The first, the student wanted to set the birds free. The second, when the rich people tried to get inside the gates of the garden, slammed shut. The third, the student noticed the birds when a caravan of camels passed by. The fourth, the shepherd was successful until disaster struck and he lost his sheep. The fifth, the student was upset because he thought he had failed in his task. Good job. Let's move on. So, dear students, you can see Spidergram, the magic garden of the poor. We should complete it. First of all, you should write life lessons, morals, values, luck, supernatural elements, ordinary people, and about human problems. Take your time, please.
Now, let's look at answer key. Life lesson, morals, values of the story, the magic garden of the poor is when you help someone, they will help you when you are in need. Ordinary people, farmer, shepherd, wise man, students, camel driver. Luck, supernatural elements of the story are finding a chest full of gold, birds bringing seeds from all over the world, gates slamming shut on their own, and human problems are disaster, a disease killed all the shepherd's sheep, poverty, poor people who have nowhere to rest and nothing to eat. Good job! So, dear students, today we've watched the tale about the magic garden of poor, and it is folk tale. So here you can see the theory about folk tales. Let's read it together. Folk tales are part of traditional cultures in places all over the world. They have several things in common. The beginning of the story starts with once upon a time or similar phrases. They feature ordinary people. For example, a woodcutter, a fisherman, and so on. They deal with human problems. For example, family, poverty. They contain extraordinary luck. For example, finding money or supernatural elements. For example, a goose that lays golden eggs. And they contain life lessons, morals, or values that are important to that culture. For example, share your good fortune with others. So, dear friends, let's finish our lesson. Today, we've predicted the content of the text, listened and read for specific information, and consolidated new vocabulary. Our lesson is over. See you next time. I wish you good luck.